Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. In today's session, we are going to learn how we can create chatbots within MS Teams in just 5 minutes. So if you are watching my video, if uh, I have already created one video with Power Virtual Agent chatbots where I went to in the details of all the topic entities and how you can publish your chatbot to different channels. But right now in today's session, we are going to just start how to create the chatbot within MS Teams without going to Power Virtual Agents. So I have opened my MS team and I'll be just going to my this three dots to find more apps. So you can start typing power virtual agents over here. You can just click on this. It will give you one app interface where you can see empower employees one chat at a time. Give people access to help them they need. So it's automating the chat chatbot stuff and you can start creating your chatbot within five minutes without any code so there are few uh, more links over there discover the power of chatbots you can try yourselves quick start your hr bot watch one minute video so all this documentation would be quite helpful to you too so you can have a look so we are going to just start now so whenever you click on start, it gives you an option to pick the team where you would like to associate this chatbot. So let me associate that with my XMT. And the chatbot we are going to create is just sample one for IT help desk. So because this is a basic one, if you are a part of a company where you are using teams, you would like to automate the generation or the raising of the IT tickets. You, you should uh, cut down the time of employees so it takes a lot of time raising a different, uh, going to a different screen, raising a ticket, service now, and get that uh, ticket done. So you can just create this chatbot where employee would be able to just chat and uh, get the clarification for their IT questions. And if not resolved, then they can just click on raise a service now or a ticket, like whatever integration you would like to provide. So I'm just naming that as an IT help bot. You can select your language. I'm selecting English. So my this chatbot is created. Now you see like I got this screen. Start exploring Power Virtual Agent. Explore bots. So in this area you can see like I have three sections. One is left navigation that is that gives us capability to uh, navigate between these uh, options, topic, entities, analytics, and publishing. And we have this test bot. So whatever you would be typing, we can see, uh, we can test over here, whatever we are going to create. And this right hand section, we can see the authoring tool, which gives us a real time uh, navigations. Like if I'm just asking this question, where my navigation is going up and how my chat bot is reacting. All right. So we can just start with topics because topics are the main thing where we would like to create the topics and have the trigger faces what trigger faces should trigger the topic so there are two type of topics actually so one is custom topics which we are going to create by ourselves and there are a few which are system topics so this greeting escalate and of conversation these are system topics so if i click on any of this you would see like there are number of trigger faces so these trigger phrases, what are these? Like whenever a person starts typing this, any of this or anything matching to this, then this topic conversation would start. So this topic greeting would start. Then this uh, author, if you see in the go, go to authoring canvas, you would able to navigate to the real time, like how it works in a flow structure. So whenever these trigger phrases, there are 52, you can add yours as well over here. So whenever this, is triggered then a message would be given from virtual agent your chatbot that I am a virtual agent and I, I can help with the question so you can change you can customize this based on your need so I can say that I am virtual agent and here to help so you, these these messages the default message you can delete or you can add up yours so I'm just saving this one and going back to my topics so I'll be using this system greetings topic only, but for, for my IT help this bot, I would be creating some custom topics as well. So for creating custom topic, I have to choose the new topic 
and when I click on new it gives me a page or a pane where I can just name the topic IT uh, based on I mean like because your IT bot can have multiple topics for example if your account is locked you would like to give the self-service uh, information to your employees then you can have that account self-service information uh, topic if uh, your employee would like to access to some somewhere like uh, some share drive then you can create a separate topic for that share drive access and if that is not resolved in the same path we will be creating one flow where that can generate or create a ticket into your system so this topic i'll just say account issue topic and what should trigger this topic so i now i would be manually entering my trigger phrases so i would say like account is locked account issue forgot password reset password account not working so all these phrases will trigger this topic and now we are going to build the authoring flow for it so when you click on go to authoring canvas it will give you that authoring in where you can just start building your flow with conditions so for now i'll just close this test bot so that i can have bigger area to look at my authoring tool so whenever this trigger phrase trigger then i'll be saying i'll be giving a message that okay sure i would help you here and in next I would add a note to ask a question to get the more uh, about the issue please elaborate by choosing below options so now I'll be choosing multiple choice because I'll be giving multiple options to that person an option would be I'll just say what password Account locked or let's say any other issue with account so you can see like automatically I got three conditions created for my above multi multiple choice question answer so when the variable text is equal to forgot password I can just go to one the other uh, branch and if the variable tax is equal to account lock, I can go to another branch. So for example, if uh, if you, the person forgot the password, then I can show the message. You can do this, uh, reset the password by yourself using self-service portal. If I'm a new employee, I would not be knowing about the self-service portal. So this bot can just give a link for self-service portal, some, something like that. And if account is locked, then I will show a message. Don't worry. Please fill a security questions form and submit at this location so probably another form or some form which is already built by IT team they want that person to fill that out so that they should be knowing about the locked reason and reset unlock the account and the third one where I have the any other option choose then I would say okay sure so I can log a ticket for you please help me with below details so you would be asking more questions before logging the ticket to your service now so what questions you would be asking please describe your account issue and this question you can have in the answer in user entire response that's a text area so this thing we are going to pass on 
to our next action and that next action because we as i said i'll be going to create one service now or log that ticket into sharepoint if you are managing the it issues in a sharepoint list otherwise like the standardly organization generally uses some portal peregrine service now for managing the ticket so you can go to this call and action and if you click on it you have option to create a flow so when you click on create a flow so it will uh, uh, redirect you power automate where you can start building your flow you can gather the responses from your previous actions and then create a premium connection so if that premium connector would require if you are using going to use the service now so that uh, premium connector you are going to use to make a connection and pass on the uh, these details the logged in person details and then uh, in response it will give you this flow itself would send one email to the this uh, requester the person who is chatting so because i don't have any premium connector for service now and this is my dev environment i am not going to do that so what best i can do i can just send a one email to my re this uh, requester or the person who is chatting that this uh, your ticket has been logged so i'll just save my flow and once this is done you can just have you can go to another branches and where you can just do and conversation so with this you can you are able to do the going to the and the conversation so you can say like and the survey and the same way and the conversation and with survey and over here we are just saving it because we are going to create one flow so i'll just so this is launching my power automate within my teams and i'll say power virtual agent flow template you can choose any of it you can choose i'll just choose send an outlook message so within this i'll just add up one more step of adding that service now ticket or logging that service now ticket so this makes the entire flow so just imagine like when this bots is in live then uh, most of the manual stuff going to service now logging the details is being cut out from this so two you can just simply say i'll just pick my own address over here and the reason is because i don't have any it i'll just create it so there's just demo written values so these values would be written up i'll just say save and going back to my so now we are good now we are in position to save and test our bot so i'll just click on test bot from the top right corner i'll say hello so these are system topics which are returning uh, me over here so this was a topic this was the message we customized and if i click on this you can see i am getting a real time navigation where my this bot is going and what are branches being chosen so i'll say account is logged So it gave me three options forgot password account lock or any other issues i would just say account is locked so this message we got please don't worry we'll just fill out a question and submit this so you can just bind up one link over here uh, any sharepoint form link or any existing system link that would be done so if you just say yes so that bot conversation would end you can just read and exit and if you wish to again like uh, start let's say like if i'm starting that piece and i'm this time i'm choosing the third option and the third option would give me option uh, to trigger my this if you go to over here i would this would have asked me more details so i'll say uh my account gets logged every 5 minutes so this is my ticket and you see like uh, because we forgot to add one message after over over here after that uh, 
flow triggering that you take it has been locked so that's why it directly went to this last question did that answer the question okay i said yeah that's fine meanwhile in this uh, logging the ticket our service now flow because i did not actually integrate that i'm just clarifying that there is no service now pim connector i'm having so i'm not integrating that so but uh, there is there is an option where you can just pull that up you can trigger that power automate and create a logging log your tickets so these are just sample demo flow for you so once you're done then you can just directly go to this publish where you can publish your flow within ms teams so i am just clicking on publish publish latest content and it would ask you like which team you would like to bind this flow so bot preview and availability options you can just click on that availability options you would see it will give you copy link where you can directly copy the teams url if you wish to embed this link somewhere on sharepoint and add it to team so you can add this to any existing team as well so over here you can just open the bot directly into teams by clicking this bot you can just add If you are allowed to add the apps, then you would you can directly able to add this IT help desk app. And if you are not allowed, then you can download that uh, entire package and give that to your MS Teams admin team, which can do the upload for you. So now your bot is live. You can just start chatting. So this. Please elaborate by choosing. We are getting these options, and in response, we'll be getting this. So it's a five-minute job to create a basic IT help desk bot into MS Team. You can keep on adding the topics. You can keep on adding the triggers, phrases to make it better to train the bot better. So the more the content, the bot would be the more, more the bot would be smart. That's it for today. If you find it useful, please do subscribe and drop your comments.